Hello, this is Simmer Erin, and today we have a, a Paralyze update. I do apologize if this is a little slow in coming because I have been just trying to catch up on Sims News, and then of course Paralyze releases this. So it's been actually a really crazy lately. That's just how the news goes, ebbs and flows. Before we get started, if you guys are new here, I am of course Simmer Erin. I do Sims 4 news info and commentary videos, of course, as well as Paralyze news commentary and info videos. And today we're going to be getting a sneak peek at what an entire loft would look like in Paralyze. And I am really excited to talk about this. I do want to break down some of the details I noticed in the short clip that we see here. And I just want to talk about what you guys think about A, the graphics, and B, potentially some gameplay. I will try to keep this a little shorter than usual just so you guys can get a sneak peek and get my thoughts and my opinions. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the clip. And also, just so you know, if you guys want more information about Paralyze, I have a whole Paralyze playlist. And I will do my disclaimer that, you know, if I say something, it's not confirmed unless it's on the Steam official listing page. But let's go ahead and look at this new clip because I think it's really exciting. So in this first clip here, we see this gorgeous modern window and this beautiful natural light. I really noticed the texture of the trees outside, and of course I noticed the telescope, which happens to be a regular size telescope. I also really like the additions by the window. I like the little clutter items. I think there's going to be a lot that builders are really going to love about this clip and for pair lives to come. In this upcoming little clip right here, we see the bed, we see the colored pillows, and then of course we see some pictures above. Again, very much a modern vibe, but it has a lot of character. I've noticed how much better the textures and the shading has gotten for Paralyzed, just from clip to clip to clip. The graphics have really evolved, and I will say that I know these graphics aren't for everyone, but for me, this is the perfect balance between realism and cartoony. Of course, we still have to know what the parafolk look like, but as far as the actual loft style, I am absolutely loving it. I know a lot of times I am a little bit critical on Paralyzed videos or Sims videos. I try to give some commentary and some criticism as well, but this is mostly just graphics, and I kind of just want to react to what I think about how it looks for today. If you guys want me to do a follow-up video, I definitely can. This is probably my favorite right here, and this is a big library-like area. I am an English professor. I am also a writer, so that's probably why I'm so obsessed with this. But I love how gorgeous these bookshelves are. I love the ability to put clutter on the bookshelves. I love the little detail of the stair railing and how that leads up to it. And of course, the gorgeous hanging plants. I feel like I just keep saying gorgeous, but honestly, I am blown away by the design team. Now, I will say I am still, still waiting to see some more gameplay. I'm still waiting to see the main pair of folk and to see how they act and personality because that's going to be the most important thing to me. But regardless of that, I would like to appreciate this clip for what it is, and it's really showing the design team's skills. I really think this is a lot of talent going into this, and I'm really excited to see what can be customizable, how much we can do with clutter and things like that. But again, I think I know enough about the build and buy. You know, we know that there's going to be a color wheel. We do know that there's going to be clutter. We do know that there's going to be items where you can stretch them and change them. So that's going to be really exciting. This right here, of course, we have seen a kitchen before, but I really like how it's all come together. I love the ambiance from the neon light. Again, I love the hanging plants. I know that a lot of you guys are going to catch details that I haven't, so definitely leave them below. What do you like or don't like? I spot a little bicycle in the back, and that's really exciting because we do know they said that there would be bikes with the base game, and I think they're going to be functional too, so that's really exciting. It's not just decor. That's what I'm really interested in is what is decor and what is going to be functional. So this, like I said, has really blown me away, even though I am not as much. I'm more a traditional style kind of person. I really appreciate all different types of styles, though, and I think this is just really, really well executed. Excited to see what else comes from this, and I'm always interested to hear your thoughts as well. In this final clip, we're going to see basically the entryway and overall of how it looks. We're going to see a chandelier hanging down, a nice sectional couch 
guys, a sectional couch. And again, just how it looks overall. You can also see the shadow of the para. So you can kind of get a glimpse of what the paras look like, sort of. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to actually end it right here. Again, I might do a follow-up video, but I just wanted to do this pretty quickly. And I apologize if the audio wasn't best quality. My computer fan was kicking on quite a bit today. So on that note, I will let you go. Let me know what you think, and I'll be back with more Paralyzed updates. Bye, guys.